This podcast is produced by the Harwood Productions Podcast Network. To learn more about the network and to find more of our shows, visit us online at www.harwoodpodcast.com. Hi, I'm Cindy Harris. Welcome to Come for Tea. This almond tea cake is the perfect little sweet to serve with afternoon tea. It's real easy to put together, doesn't take a lot of time, and it looks like it came from a fancy bakery. First we start by getting our pan ready and either use a 9 inch square or a 9 inch round pan and spray it with some baking spray. Then what we're going to do is we're going to make a sleeve, whether it's square or round, by just putting a, a thin strip of parchment right down in the bottom of the pan and then another piece of parchment. If it's round, I actually buy these little round parchments um, at the party store, but you could certainly cut it out of parchment and if you're using a square pan cut a square piece put that in on top of the sleeve and then give it one more little spritz and now our pan is ready and we can just set that aside now go to the mixer and we want to put in 10 tablespoons of butter now if you've softened your butter ahead of time good for you I didn't as you can see but I have found a trick that if I cut it into little cubes it kind of works the same it creams up nice and easily so get that creaming then while the butter's creaming we're gonna get our secret ingredient and for this tea cake it's almond paste you find this in the baking department of the store and it comes in a tube like this and what you do is you slice it open and inside you find what looks like child's clay but really what it is is it's um, a combination of some sugar and um, other things but the main ingredient is ground almonds it has a fantastic almond flavor so we're gonna get a tube of that which is about seven ounces and we're gonna go back to the mixer where the butter is getting nice and creamy and we're gonna start breaking up that almond paste and putting it into the mixer then once you get all the almond paste in, we're going to add a third of a cup of sugar. Now I'm going to let that mix around for a couple of minutes till everything looks nice and fluffy. And then I'm going to get four eggs and I'm going to drop them in one at a time. And you want to make sure that it, the, one, the egg you've dropped in is pretty well mixed in before you add the next one because eggs actually have quite a bit of liquid. So make sure that's real well mixed. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to get the zest of one orange. So um, what I like to use is my micro planer. And when you're getting the zest off of fruit, you basically just want the color part, the orange. You don't want to go far down into that white uh, because that's not where the oils are in that great orange flavor. So you'll notice I'm using my micro planer and dragging it on top of the fruit. That way all the zest collects on top, which I like and then it's easy for me to go ahead and put it into the mixer now while that's mixing together let's get our dry ingredients in a small bowl and all we need is two-thirds of a cup of regular flour a half a teaspoon of baking powder and a pinch of salt then I just whisk all those ingredients together and then it's time to take that over to the mixer now for this I'm actually going to stop the mixer and go ahead and put all of the dry ingredients in at once. Then I'm going to lower the mixer and put it on a very slow speed and I'm just going to let this mix until it all comes together and I don't see any more flour. Now grab your spatula, give it one final mix down. We don't want to have any pockets of dry ingredients anywhere. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this all into our prepared pan. Now this is a pretty thick batter so you are going to want to take your spatula and spread it all the way out to the edges of the pan. Then you want to get three quarters of a cup of sliced almonds and you want to just sprinkle those almonds all over the whole top of the cake. Now this is going to go into a 350 degree oven and it's going to bake for just 30 minutes. 
Now when it comes out of the oven, it's going to look just like this, nice and golden and the almonds are going to have a little bit of a golden color to it, just perfect. But I do always like to take a toothpick and pop it right in the center of the cake just to make sure it's done all the way. Then let this sit for five minutes, then just grab a regular dinner knife and run it along the edges where there is no parchment, just to make sure that that's released. Then get your cooling rack, hold on to those sleeves and lift it right out of the pan. And that works out so great, doesn't it? And if you want, that sleeve can actually slide out because it's underneath the round that the cake is baked on. Now when I go ahead and serve this, I just cut a wedge, put it on a plate, and then dust it with some powdered sugar. It looks so pretty over those almonds and on the plate. Now if you had some fresh raspberries, a couple of those would be nice, or a little puddle of raspberry sauce if you had something like that. But I have to be honest with you, plain just like this, this almond tea cake is wonderful with a cup of tea in the afternoon. For more information on this episode, go to our website and visit the Come For Tea show notes. Also, if you have any questions or ideas, send us an email. Thanks for watching. It's time for tea.